So I've been asked by a few people to show off like how I make my enclosures because they like the way they look and uh, well like a little tips I guess. We'll start off with a small enclosure on this one. Um, simple two by two of the fence stretched out as much as possible and I think what we'll do is we'll start with a desert sort of oasis. Now I do like the ones where you have islands in the middle and whatnot or like a sort of stream going through it because it's a small one I won't do it it's like a big sort of dippy like thing uh, where it's like in a, in a, a gully so what we're gonna do we're gonna like chop down the water so it's not as much present in uh, as possible and it's a bit of a smiley face really uh, and then what we're gonna do is mm, sort of like a bit of come on, actually I should sand up the area thinking about it so we'll see what we're working with. Not about too much if you like leave the enclosure. Right. So we've got that in the middle. Now I'm just gonna give it a bit of like tone. Like this curve here. Give it the green of it. Let's go around a bit of green up there. Is it dirt or rock up on? A bit there, a bit there, and a bit there. Maybe a bit more here. A bit of sand there as well. There we go. So we've got a bit of dirt. Um, I'm afraid we want like the uh, sort of like oasis sort of thing. Is the I can't pronounce it. Cycad grove sort of thing. I feel like it has like a bit of an oasis feel to it. Um, I don't know, it sort of defeats the purpose of dirt, but gives me a good idea of where I want the things, and maybe a bit here. Uh, a bit of dirt over there, trying to hide that. Do I have that in there? Don't know why I went off there. That's small, it's going to start again. We should make that smaller. There we go. So, as well, can't forget about rocks. Like, leave the sandy rocks like further out, but I try and go for like the temperate rocks just because it fits in the sand a bit more. some big rocks about and then I try and build them up with little ones so it doesn't look randomly in the uh, sort of middle. There we are. Right, so a few more rocks there, probably this side needs a bit. Uh, I'll just do. Uh, do some rocks underneath this one. Okay, so now we've got our little sort of oasis area. 
um, and it's quite flat around the outside so we're probably gonna add some like hills to like sort of so it just doesn't look flat so a bit like that and then smooth it out like that smooth this area out like that it's a bit of a sand dune sort of thing going on and then do it like that so it's like an L shape so it's not too much maybe a little bit of a mound here I need like a little bit of a mound there so it doesn't fit too much. And then paint up a little bit so it's not just all sand. A bit of dirt on top. So I'll add a tree to that one. I'll add a tree to this one. The no problem is it's not quite a deserty map. You don't have the desert rock paintbrush, which I kind of wish you did. We, still, we can still work with it. So we go to decorations. And I don't want to skip over the trees. I'm trying to find some stuff to add. Right there. Another. Bushy life here in the second half. Yeah. Flush out the uh, bottom bit so it doesn't look completely like just trees. Right there. Right, there we go. Bed it from there. Uh, so, flushed out that one a bit. We'll flesh up up here with just one or two things, really. Oh, one thing here. Go down to the uh, decorations. Like one thing I wish in the sandbox is the decorations were like just cross, so you just have everything you could possibly uh, have in the entire game. Same with paint brushes, really. But you may do with what you got. I go for palms and things really more than when it comes to like the desert sort of stuff. Um, and again, just flesh it out with what you got. Shrubbery rise. I always go for like a remnant pattern so it, it doesn't exactly look placed. So we've got all little hills with some greenery, we've got our oasis there in the centre of the water and now maybe it's just time to add some like rocks to this because we don't have the rock paint brush we may as well just, just use a few of the deserty ones. Let's 
this, this bit. small desert oasis sort of uh, enclosure uh, it's fleshed out it's got textures bits of greenery a fair bit of rockery to like split it up a little bit same the hills adds a bit more now the thing that you can do as well if you've got the space and you're not worried about like trying to get as many enclosures it's just around the outside of the enclosure where you don't have um like anything it's just put like greenery. I mean, it encroaches a little bit sometimes. I just go like that. You always don't really mess up too much to be honest when you do it. And then it's sort of like when you're inside of it, having a look, it'll look barren on the outside. And also, then you have another enclosure here, another enclosure there, and there, and uh, yeah, it'll look kind of cool. Let's get some dinosaurs in there. So. Now we've finished this quite small enclosure, we've added some small dinosaurs to it. This is like an idea, we've got Triosaurus and we've got Lysosaurus in here. Just like, you know, six Triosauruses and a pair of Lystrosauruses. And uh, yeah, sort of just add some little desert enclosure. It's so tiny. All of those things, as you would. Gonna hide off in the grass. to the feel and the look they're all hanging around the oasis quite small so it doesn't look weird like having like I don't know if you have like 12 Brachiosaurus in there you'd expect like a massive enclosure on the tiny one yeah if uh, you like this video let me know down in the comments below and uh, if there's like a particular type of enclosure you'd like to watch me build, yeah, 